examples of optically active alkyl halides. What happens to optical activity of alkyl halides if they undergo SN1 or SN2 mechanisms? Will anything happen to the optically active substance or not? This is what we are going to discuss. Okay. Tell me what optical activity is first of all. Substance which can rotate the plane of polarized lights are optically active. So there are two kinds of substances. One which can rotate the plane of polarized towards right. One which can rotate plane of polarized light towards left. What kind of compounds can rotate the plane of polarized light? Those compounds. What kind of compounds which can rotate the plane of polarized light? Only those compounds which contain an asymmetric carbon atom. At least one asymmetric carbon atom should be there in a compound so that it can rotate the plane of polarized light. So we are discussing about such compounds. What happens to the uh, optical activity of such compounds when it undergoes the reaction? Can you see this compound? This particular carbon is that carbon is asymmetric because it is bonded to th four different groups. It is bonded to CH3, it is bonded to H, it is bonded to C6H13, it is bonded to bromine. They are four different groups, therefore compound is optically active. There is a substitution, Br- is getting substituted by, minor, by means of OH. Br- is getting substituted by means of OH group. So you get the product, OH is formed. Now what you have to verify now is, is there a difference in the optical activity or not? Which means, if this was rotating the plane of polarized towards right, will this be rotating it towards right or left? That is what you have to decide. Now see how it happens. This is the compound. You know it is bonded to heavy groups. This will undergo this step first to get a carbocation. So is it SN1 or SN2? Obviously SN1. The reaction depends only on this compound. So it is going to be an SN1 reaction. After this species is formed, now this will be attacked. Which species? Carbocation is formed. The carbocation now will be attacked by OH-. But OH- can attack the carbocation either from this direction or from this direction. It can attack from both the sides, either from the front or from the back. Which means, you have a chance of getting two compounds. Which are the two compounds? Here, original compound is represented like this. This has broken to form carbocation. This group is broken. Now, this can be attacked either from this side or from this side, which can give which compound? Now either you can get a compound like this or you can get a compound like this. So what actually happens is you get a mixture of both the compounds therefore racemization takes place. Racemization means what? You have a mixture of two optically active compounds, one is positive and plus is, uh, and another is negative. This is what happens when an optically active compound undergoes SN1 reaction. Is this SN1? Yeah, it is SN1. 